what you need to know about NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Welcome back to Crypto Smooth. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs seem to have exploded out of the ether this year. From art and music to tacos and toilet paper, these digital assets are selling like 17th century exotic Dutch tulips, some for millions of dollars. But are NFTs worth the money or the hype? Some experts say they're a bubble poised to pop, like the dot-com craze or the Beanie Babies. Others believe that NFTs are here to stay and that they will change investing forever. So in this video, we will discuss what you need to know about non-fungible tokens. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. How is an NFT different from cryptocurrency? NFT stands for a non-fungible token. It's generally built using the same kind of programming as cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that's where the similarity ends. Physical money and cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning they can be traded or exchanged for one another. They're also equal in value. One dollar is always worth another dollar. One Bitcoin is always equal to another Bitcoin. Crypto's fungibility makes it a trusted means of conducting transactions on the blockchain. NFTs are different. Each has a digital signature that makes it impossible for NFTs to be exchanged for or equal to one another, hence non-fungible. One NBA Top Shot clip, for example, is not equal to every day's simply because they're both NFTs. One NBA Top Shot clip isn't even necessarily equal to another NBA Top Shot clip, for that matter. How does an NFT work? NFTs exist on a blockchain, which is a distributed public ledger that records transactions. You're probably most familiar with the blockchain as the underlying process that makes cryptocurrencies possible. Specifically, NFTs are typically held on the Ethereum blockchain, although other blockchains support them as well. An NFT is created or minted from digital objects that represent both tangible and intangible items, including art, GIFs, videos and sports highlights, collectibles, virtual avatars and video game skins, designer sneakers, and music. Even tweets count. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sold his first ever tweet as an NFT for more than $2.9 million. Essentially, NFTs are like physical collector's items, only digital. So instead of getting an actual oil painting to hang on the wall, the buyer gets a digital file instead. They also get exclusive ownership rights. That's right, NFTs can have only one owner at a time. NFTs unique data makes it easy to verify their ownership and transfer tokens between owners. The owner or creator can also store specific information inside them. For instance, artists can sign their artwork by including their signature in an NFT's metadata. What are NFTs used for? Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the customer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the profits. In addition, artists can program in royalties so they'll receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive feature as artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. Art isn't the only way to make money with NFTs. Brands like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off themed NFT art to raise funds for charity. Charmin dubbed its offering NFTP or non-fungible toilet paper, and Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes, with the highest bids coming in at 1.5 wrapped ether or WETH, equal to $3,723.83 at the time of writing. Nyan Cat, a 2011 era gif of a cat with a pop-tart body sold for nearly $600,000 in February, and NBA Top Shot generated more than $500 million in sales as of late March. A single LeBron James highlight NFT fetched more than $200,000. Even celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Lindsay Lohan are jumping on the NFT bandwagon, releasing unique memories, artwork, and moments as securitized NFTs. How to buy NFTs if you're keen to start your own NFT collection, you'll need to acquire some key items. First, you'll need to get a digital wallet that allows you to store NFTs and cryptocurrencies. You'll likely need to purchase some cryptocurrency like Ether, depending on what currencies your NFT provider accepts. You can buy crypto using a credit card on platforms like Coinbase, Kraken, eToro, and even PayPal and Robinhood now. You'll then be able to move it from the exchange to your wallet of choice. 
you'll want to keep fees in mind as you research options. Most exchanges charge at least a percentage of your transactions when you buy crypto. Popular NFT Marketplaces once you've got your wallet set up and funded, there's no shortage of NFT sites to shop. Currently, the largest NFT marketplaces are OpenSea.io. This peer-to-peer -peer platform bills itself as a purveyor of rare digital items and collectibles. To get started, all you need to do is create an account to browse NFT collections. You can also sort pieces by sales volume to discover new artists. Rarible. Similar to OpenSea, Rarible is a democratic open marketplace that allows artists and creators to issue and sell NFTs. Rarity tokens issued on the platform enable holders to weigh in on features like fees and community rules. Foundation Here, artists must receive upvotes or an invitation from fellow creators to post their art. The community's exclusivity and cost of entry, artists must also purchase gas to mint NFTs, meaning it can boast higher caliber artwork. For instance, Nine Cat creator Chris Torres sold the NFT on the Foundation platform. It may also mean higher prices, not necessarily a bad thing for artists and collectors seeking to capitalize, assuming the demand for NFTs remains at current levels or even increases over time. Although these platforms and others are host to thousands of NFT creators and collectors, be sure to do your own research carefully before buying. Some artists have fallen victim to impersonators who have listed and sold their work without their permission. In addition, the verification processes for creators and NFT listings aren't consistent across platforms. Some are more stringent than others. OpenSea and Rarible, for example, do not require owner verification for NFT listings. Buyer protections appear to be sparse at best, so when shopping for NFTs, it may be best to keep the old adage, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware, in mind. Should you buy NFTs? Just because you can buy NFTs, does that mean you should? It depends, you says. NFTs are risky because their future is uncertain, and we don't yet have a lot of history to judge their performance, she notes. Since NFTs are so new, it may be worth investing small amounts to try it out for now. In other words, investing in NFTs is a largely personal decision. If you have money to spare, it may be worth considering, especially if a piece holds meaning for you. But keep in mind, an NFT's value is based entirely on what someone else is willing to pay for it. Therefore, demand will drive the price rather than fundamental, technical, or economic indicators, which typically influence stock prices and at least generally form the basis for investor demand. All this means an NFT may resale for less than you paid for it, or you may not be able to resell it at all if no one wants it. NFTs are also subject to capital gains taxes just like when you sell stocks at a profit. Since they're considered collectibles, however, they may not receive the preferential long-term capital gains rate stocks do and even be taxed at a higher collectibles tax rate, though the IRS has not yet ruled what NFTs are considered for tax purposes. Bear in mind, the cryptocurrencies used to purchase the NFT may also be taxed if they've increased in value since you bought them meaning you may want to check in with a tax professional when considering adding NFTs to your portfolio. That said, approach NFTs just like you would any investment. Do your research, understand the risks, including that you might lose all of your investing dollars, and if you decide to take the plunge, proceed with a healthy dose of caution. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.